Hi, Cheryl here with you from Farmhouse Frugally. Today I wanted to give you a shout out. Thank you for joining my channel where I take things that have been um, left behind on the side of the road, at the dump, maybe I've thrifted them to turn them into something fabulous. So I love to spin wool and cook and bake and craft and DIY and especially trash to treasure. So I hope you'll join me along this journey. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. Please share this video with another farmhouse fanatic or someone you know likes to upcycle things. And I thank you for stopping by. Now let's get into a project. So I'll begin telling you this week where I got my haul from. This first item is a Lazy Susan, I think, a turntable so I can paint items. It's a buck at Goodwill, so that was a great find. Then there were two baskets and this real cute ironstone platter also at the Goodwill. $1.50 for each basket and a dollar for the ironstone platter. I collect ironstone, so I took it home, cleaned it up, and put it right on top of one of my trays. The two baskets I haven't done anything with yet, but I will. These are stars. My husband got an entire bucket full at the good table at the dump for free. And believe it or not, a Kenmore sewing machine. Much nicer than my own, so I have traded up. Can't even believe the number of stitches that it does, so mine will be at the dump this week. <laughs> and then I got this sweet little vase, tiny little thing, and then my friend gave me this picture which she knows I love bunnies she works she lives in the same town so I'm guessing she might have also gotten it at the dump <laughs> and then sometime back I had picked up this welcome to our happy home sign at the dump for free and that same friend had given me this beautiful basket that I absolutely love so today we are going to do four projects over trash to treasure number one I took some foam from the dollar tree and that beautiful grapevine basket that my friend had given me and i cut the foam and i put it into the basket i don't use glue because i know oftentimes we like to take these out and do something different i also had this moss from the dollar tree and i like to put it all on the top first before i put my flowers in it's easier than trying to stuff it in later i had picked up this lavender at walmart recently and I just had some greens in my stash. So using my wire clippers, I went ahead and I cut the lavender to the length that I wanted. When you make an arrangement, you want to start in the center. If it's a round arrangement, get your height in the center. So I put the tallest one there. And then I went ahead around little by little and got a little bit smaller and worked that with my fingers and then put the green in where the spaces were to just fill that in. Now, I didn't have a ribbon, so if you don't have a ribbon you like, you can always use fabric. I just tore some fabric that I had, made a bow, put it on the side, cute as can be. So that project is finished and I really, really like the way it came out because I happen to really love lavender. <laughs> and uh, so it went really well with some of the other items that I had um, ready for my sale. So that is done. And then I moved on to project number two. This is a sign my husband had picked up for free some time back. Uh, welcome to our home and it's cute, but it's a little worse for wear. Um, so I decided to remove the chain on the top, take out some white chalk paint, go over the rusted or, you know, areas of the sign that needed to be touched up on the word welcome. And then I went and painted over the words on the wooden sign with two coats. Once that was dry, I took out a marker and I wrote on it. And then I took out my black chalk paint with a dry brush and I went around the words welcome and the sign itself to make that pop off a little bit. And then I took some E6000 in this cute little chicken that I had. And I put that right in the middle there and I think it came out adorable. Here it is on the table, but it's forever home is actually going to be outside 
on this garden gate once I get some polyurethane on it. If you recall this gate that I made some months back with the IOD stamps, that's going to be where it'll be eventually. On to project number three. I happen to love Primitive Country. I used to have a Primitive Country retail shop, so I absolutely love this picture just the way it is. But I did decide I would attempt to give it a little bit of a makeover. I'm not sure if I made it better or worse. <laughs> so I took out some paint, I painted the edges, and then didn't like the color of the paint. So I went ahead and I mixed three colors together so that I could get a little bit more of a creamy with almost a touch of pink like the bunnies. And I gave two coats to that. Once that was fully dry, I took the bare dark antique wax and I went ahead both the inside and the outside of the frame and then just here and there rubbed that on until it had the look that I was going for just to lighten it up a little bit. At the end of the day I really do like it against the black um, so hopefully you do as well and then I went on to project number four which was the easiest that sweet little tiny vase only a couple of inches tall pretty as it is but I just went ahead and gave that two coats of white chalk paint to make that a little bit more primitive and tucked in some of the greens and some of the lavender to give it just a little bit more of an updated look a little more farmhouse so I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up leave a comment let me know which was your favorite and thank you for stopping by I will see you next time